Merriweather getting one of the last two spots on the opening day roster and of course in brief glimpses Buck when his health allowed him to we saw the potential that Merriweather has last season for the Blue Jays. Yeah last year he pitched a total of 13 innings and then he had some elbow issues and injuries have been a problem for him throughout his career but he is in a unique situation here when you really think about it as he has only had one professional save in his entire career that was back in 2015 when he was 23 years old pitching for the Lake County a ball team in the Midwest League for the Cleveland Indians and he picked up his only professional save he's got a chance to pick up a save here on opening day at Yankee Stadium got out of trouble in the ninth and now Merriweather trying to nail it down in the tenth and the first pitch to Hicks in there at ninety seven in his last spring outing buck on consecutive pitches I think it was on Monday Merriweather threw a ninety eight mile an hour fastball and backed it up with a seventy nine mile an hour changeup. that's ridiculous stuff. Yeah, his background is as a starter, so he has all the weapons. Oh, one, there's the change at 80. So he goes from 97 to 80. We talk about, you know, 8 to 10, 10 to 12 mile an hour difference between fastball and changeup. He's at like 17 or 18. Yeah, he's got great stuff. He's got a curveball and a slider as well, but I don't think he should shy away from his fastball. He's got a legit fastball. No balls, two strikes on Hicks. And he got him. Change up right on the outside corner for a big first out here in the bottom of the 10th. And now he faces John Carlos Stanton. Slider for a strike, 0 and 1. Simi in the second baseman, shading up the middle, trying to keep Judge close. Outfield basically straight away on Stanton. Merriweather a glance back at Judge and now the 0 1 back to the slider and right back in the zone and it's 0 and 2. Doesn't sound like the uh, fans in the Bronx like the strike zone right now but those were both of them were definitely in there. Way out in front of Stan. And the 0-2 fastball at 99, a swing and a miss to get him, two down. And now Glaber Torres. Runner at second, two down, 3-2 Blue Jays, bottom 10, swing and a miss on a first pitch slider, 0-1. The Blue Jays appeared to be on the brink of defeat in the bottom of the ninth. And now they are on the cusp of a victory in the bottom of the 10th. Torres today one for three also walked singled and scored back in the second. Merriweather's got the sign and sets. And the 0 1 and late on the fastball 0 and 2 buck 99 again. Yeah man, he's got a blazing fastball and Torres was really late on it. The 0 2 and he spiked that one trying to overthrow that slider and I, I hadn't clued into this buck Doug Walton our producer just told me had he struck him out on that that would have been an immaculate inning. Can you have an immaculate inning with a runner at second base. I guess you can have an immaculate inning with a runner at second base. Right? <laughs> Immaculate inning and his three strikeouts on his nine pitches yeah. and he was firing it in there. One ball two strikes the Blue Jays a strike away from a victory in the Bronx. And the pitch. Ninety nine again and late again is Torres as he fouls it off. And Torres has been late on the fastballs he's seen in this at bat. 
He's got his side from Jansen. One ball, two strikes. Fastball, and he got him. Swing and a miss by Torres. Merriweather gets the save, and the Blue Jays win on opening day in the Bronx by a score of 3-2. to two.